Okay, we're back. Uh, my name is Dick Emsley. I'm a Tennessee artist. I live in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and I've got the Gray Smoky Mountains at my doorstep to paint from. And I go out a lot to paint, but I also paint a lot in the studio. But today we're going to talk about something that you finish a painting or do a painting. Paintings can be warm, they can be cool, they can be uh, all in between. But what I want to show you, the painting that we've been working on, and you can do this at home with your paintings. It's not a hard thing to do. This painting right here, we've been working on it. And the last uh, steps we did was a palette knife. But what I want to show you was, if you look at a color wheel, and here's a color wheel right here, and you can pick out where the colors are in this painting. Most paintings very rarely will cover that whole color wheel. They just don't do it. They'll stay within from here to here, from here to here, maybe from here to here, from here to here. They could fall pictures, okay, basically will come into this room right here. Uh, spring pictures will be way up in here. As you get into summer, they may cover over in here, okay? Uh, water seeds, you'll see a lot of blues and so on. But this particular painting right here falls, if you look at it, it falls right into this room with color right here. Now, to put a real punch to your painting, okay? And it'll be there. If you will take a couple of the colors opposite now you take this whole color wheel, what i've done flipped it and guess what look at the red against the green see it just hide this part of the color wheel let's just take that okay see there's your picture right there there's the red color the orange see how they stand out against all these colors that are in there but your basic painting is cool and it covers this range of colors right here now, I've done paintings of all types that'll, uh, I'm going to bring another one up. I'm going to show it to you. It's one I did of my wife, basically. If you look at it, here again, a lot of the blues, the purples. This range covers right into here, okay? And then when you flip the colors, you get some of the warm colors here. Here, see? Okay. So that covers that color there. That's more over in this range. Not, not quite to that one. See, it's a little different color range. It's a little bit more cooler colors, more of the blues, the purples, okay? You can see them right over in here. This one has very few purples and blues. It's got a few, but not as many as this one does, okay? And here again, we talked about how you sign your paintings. I've scanned this painting already. I'm going to sign it later. But let your painting sit. Now, wa uh, oils usually take at least three months to sit before you varnish them. So I'm going to let this thing sit probably about another another couple of weeks, and then I will varnish it. But anyhow, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. And just evaluate your paint. Look where it stands. And sometimes you may want to get a little extra punch to your painting. And say this red wasn't in here, okay? If that, that color was all green, it would be very boring. But that red shocks the paint. Remember, it's the, also the opposite of the green. Anything opposite will will cause a little bit of a turmoil in your mind but it also helps the painting to, to give you a little extra extra uh, shocking I call it shocking value uh, a lot of times m my students will be painting and I'll go up to them and just put a total opposite color of what they've been painting on it and it shocks the brain into seeing new things in the painting anyhow again my name is Dick Ensing living Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, look me up on my website, dickensingartist.com, or write me at dickensing at bellsouth.net. Thanks for dropping in again, and go have fun and paint a little bit and experiment with it. I experiment a lot with my paintings and with color and just to see what's going to happen. And, uh, yeah, I burn a lot during the year, but very few now. I used to burn quite a few of them, but now I keep them and I rework them. Talk to you later. Thanks for dropping in.